Hello, and welcome to the channel, and welcome to some final upgrade. Uh, this is a game I bought a while ago. Um, it, it, I bought it, I got stuck it in the my Steam library, and I was like, oh, I'll look at this. And then I got busy, uh, and it's, <laughs> I've had it forever. Uh, we're going to leave the tutorial on. Uh, we're going to leave it at normal. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at default. Tutorial. Go of the game. The creation of a strong AI has changed the future of many. With this help of technology pipe drive, was invented the AI uh, test with exploring the far reaches of space, preparing the planets for the arrival of college. The test colonized sector of the galaxy increased its population to 1 billion people. Uh, camera report, please follow the instructions of this tutorial. After its completion, you will have complete freedom of action. If you get stuck, click the restart step button. The tutorial window can be moved with this mouse cursor. Wee hee, mouse cursor. Uh, no, go down. Uh, move the cursor to the side of the screen, WSAB to move the camera, or you can bounce on the, the screen. Scroll the middle mouse button in and out to zoom in and out. Oh, wow. Uh, robots are required for building and mining on asteroids. The ship can hold up to eight robots. Test build some additional robots plus the beat building. Uh, um, evidently, I zoomed way too far out. All right, so we have to hit the B button. Uh, we need to find robots. Uh, robot dock station. Okay. Oh, robot dock station. Fans. Look, robots. Press escape to close the build menu. All right, we'll close the build, build menu there. All right. Uh, press the highlighted button on the, uh, the key button on your keyboard to enter the pet three. Three. Oh. Uh, oh, 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 okay. It just, it just, just keeps going. Okay. Level 10. Uh, Annihilation Ray, uh, Terraformer T3, Living Terrarium Gold. Okay. A Battle Droid, a Bed Droid, Work Droid, uh, Oxygen. Okay. Uh, so there, there's some stuff there. Uh, this technology screen, you can use the same controls, navigate, click, iron, extraction, chip, technology, chip, iron extraction. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what? Iron is not only used to produce basic resources, but is used widely uh, used in construction. To queue technology, press the restart or research button. Okay. All right. So, but, but, okay, no, back, uh, go back. No, go. I'm very confused as to what just happened. Is this, is this the level one back? Um, I, I don't understand. Back to home. Okay. So, this is ore mining. So, this is carbonite mining. So this is iron extraction. This is nickel mining. So this is so none of the hydrogen or any of this other stuff. Does every one of these pages have construction cannon? Uh, right, right click the construction cannon technology. Add it to the queue. Uh, stationary construction cannon. Right click to okay. Research that. Do I guess? Okay, so iron mining extractor, okay. Add electricity from oil technology to the queue. Uh, okay, Jesus. Especially added basic technology. Like how much, how much is in the research tree? Like how much, I, what, what, what the? Research is carried out with the help of research stations that consume energy and generate XP. The more research stations you have, the faster technologies will be researched. Okay. Uh, unlike ore mining. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to cancel that tutorial. I want to go to the next step. Planetary data centers are used to store data, research data. The amount of memory is limited. To get more memory, capture new sectors. 
uh, level of planets in a resource depot is increased the total population of planets upon reaching certain values. Amount of new memory is provided. Cube, you can manage your research cube, move technologies up and down as well as cancel research. That makes sense. Like all of the other games that we played. Uh, press the exit button or hit the escape or the T key. Uh, we have escape. Escape. Each research station generates 10 XP per second, consuming one energy as long as there is for memory. Build some new research stations. Press B to open the build menu. Uh, is this, oh, this is a okay. research station. Uh, it wants me to build a bunch of them, evidently. Build all of them. Go, robots! I like robots. Robots are the best. Uh, press escape to close the build panel. Okay. Wait for the end of construction. Use the buttons at the top of the screen. Uh, speed up and slow down time. Okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm liking what this thing's putting down. I'm, uh, so this is iron ore, so we'll get some nickel ore in there. Okay. Get a little asteroid action. We got an extractor. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, we're almost done. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna need some more some more of that stuff soon. I think uh, we we seem to be running out of it. All right, uh, test mine an asteroid to get iron for future construction. Hover uh, cursor over the ship and press the L to activate local hyper ju jump. Okay, so I'll we'll do that and press the L key to jump. Okay, place the Spaceship closer to the asteroid to shorten the path for the robot. Okay. I am closer. Drag the ore icon from the asteroid to the ship's resource there. Okay. Mine. Or mining has begun. Uh, running tests. Sequentially, one after the other is not efficient. Try to run as many processors as possible in parallel. Build an extractor to process ore into iron. Press the B button to build it. Okay. Uh, ship core. Uh, the, the, the machine batteries, pipe, shorter, all segments, machines, maybe? Extractor. Ah! Extractor. Right click it to configure it. I probably need to build it first. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Uh, iron. Haha. Take that, sucker fish. Uh, recipes can be selected even if the research has not yet been completed. The machine will start working as soon as the technology is unlocked. Close the window by pressing the escape. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, they're all mining. Like it's not going to do me any good if they're all mining and the there nobody's building. See, see how this isn't working for me. Space burst pause. Crazy talk. Dragon drop any robot onto the extractor. Okay. All right. You, you go make the extractor happen. They got little conveyor belts. Okay. You obviously need more than just that one to do that. Okay. I, I, I can already tell it has been a mistake for me to open this game today. Um... I, I, it, mistakes for me. All right, open the settings window for the selected pneumatic tube by right clicking on it. Okay, right click on it. Uh, activate the left direction so that it starts flowing into the extractor. Okay, get into the extractor. Get through the extractor. Oh, fancy. Uh, wait until the robots fill the hold with ore. Press the buttons at the top of the screen, plus or minus keys. Uh, go faster.
Oh, that was fast. We're almost done. It's going to happen when y'all have too many. Oh, you got too many. Now what are you going to do? Oh, you're just going to delete it, huh? Yep, just delete it. Pretend like it didn't ever happen. What are you doing? What? There's no room. What are you doing? Get back in your hole. All right. For the resettlement of mankind in the galaxy, required to discover, capture the world, spaceship, and separate move instantly between sectors. Point the cursor at the ship and press J for jump. J. Ooh, fancy. Click on the indicated sector. Target sector. All right, click on it. Whee. Uh, right click on the ship, select clean sector. Uh, I right clicked on the ship, clean sector 1000 megawatts. Colony established. Uh, the lava plant that contains the nearest iron deposits. We build a station that lifts ore from the surface via an uh, overall elevator and refines it into iron. Note only one station can be built in one sector. It is impossible to build a station in sectors with asteroids built. Okay. Before we start, let's build one. Uh, construction cannon, with this help, you will simply speed up the construction. Press the B on the build key. B. I, I hit. Okay, I got to get out of that. Uh, B, can, can, construction cannon. Uh, okay, construction cannon. Uh, okay, press escape to close this panel. All right, we have built the construction pen, or pen. We. I think my ship spun around. Yeah, it's pointed the other way now. It's really messing with my head. All right, tutorial station construction, build the station button. Build the station. Build the station. Initiate construction by dragging the core of the flagship to the station. I don't want to drag the core of the flagship to the station. I'm, I might need the core of the, okay. It just does it. Hey, I'm building this. Like, I need my core. Don't put it over there. Wait for the end of construction. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Uh, spaceships have stations of their own. Closed energy system generators turn fuel into energy. Production machines and uh, weapons are used. Energy is stored in three types of batteries with different capacities. Transfer power from the flagship station by dragging the flagship battery power icon to the station's batteries. Okay, so we can do this here. Yay! Oh, look at that. That that won't that won't end bad, sad for me. The colony is created automatically. The sector is captured. Each colony produces one type of basic resources. Production can be increased by supplying the required resources for each to the next level. Okay. The colony consumes one primary uh, type of resource for population growth. When population reaches its limit, the colony requests certain type, uh, resources to terraform and reach the next level. Maximum level of colony depends on the quality of the sector from 6 to 12 levels. Okay. The exchange of resources for planets is possible in four ways. Manual order of the ship, creation of a trade route, construction and con uh, connection to the planetary teleport through the orbital elevator. Every station above a habitable planet is equipped with an orbital elevator. Uh, through it, it can exchange resources with the planet without sending energy on teleportation or landing uh, spaceships. To transfer or receive resources, you need to connect pipes to the core of the station. The use of module allows you to quickly assemble the construction of the station. Taking into account local resources and needs, press N to activate the modules window. I'm, there's a bunch of buttons I'm not going to remember. Choose a model with four extractors. Uh, module, module with four extractors. Uh, four stampers, four extractors. There it is. Four extractors. Uh, if the ship is blocking the setup, you can hover over it, press the X button, and it will instantly move the ship to the side. Touch the station, uh, place the module so that the tubes touch the station core and click the left mouse button. But it shows me like this. This. Okay, okay, so then H and B 
hold control to place over existing object, escape to cancel. All right. Robots. Oh, I gotta tell the robots again. Robots aren't super smart. Now I add a module with a resource zone for storing iron. Press N to activate the modules window. Choose the module resource zone. Okay, resource zone. Okay. Wait for the end of construction. Well, they figured out how to build that one without me telling them how to do it. Wait for them. Well, what if I want to go make it faster? Ah, ah sucker fish. All right. Right click on any extractor and set the iron recipe. Uh, hit copy to all. Okay, copy to all. That makes sense. Uh, escape. Escape. Close the window and press the key button to activate the resource zone module. Open the settings window. Right click the resource zone and select resource type iron. Uh, iron. No. Let's see, iron. Restore strong is configured to store iron. That's great. Holy crap, that thing is already full. Drag the icon from the station resource zone to the corresponding spaceship resource zone to load iron by teleportation. Okay. You can give one time order to load resources from planet or uh, load. Or unload on planet or unload on it. Drag the uh, iron icon from the left colony window to the flagship. I think that's what I want me to do. I don't know. I don't know where my ship went. Oh, there it is. Manual control of the spacecraft is rarely required. In most cases, enough to run one, the auto watch gun it. Right click on the ship. It's like auto logic builder. Right click on the ship. Uh, auto logic builder. The auto builder logic is running. Uh, control energy generation mission. You can build a station that generates energy with a spaceship and transport energy. Press M to activate the map. Okay, let's go to the map. Uh, target sector. Uh, claim the sector. Claim sector button. Executed by any of your space. Oh, ah, that scared the crap out of me. Build station button. And then wait for the construction to finish. Is it going to auto? Oh it, oh, it actually moved down there by itself now? Okay, so with the auto builder function. It's like, oh, you'll need to build stuff. Okay, I'll build stuff. Am I not in control of a ship anymore? Click on the build station button, wait for the construction to finish. Okay, we're doing that. And then it's possible that this thing will run, actually go back and, and, and pick up. Uh, iron do also. I I've, I watched a bunch of the stuff when the when the game first came out or when it early access or a long time ago. Uh, so a lot, this game is really focused on automation and stuff around. Right click on the station core. The fast construction window allows you to add fully configured and uh, uh, connected machines to storage just like your clicks. It's possible to build an entire production chain by uh, specifying the final resource. Fast construction window is available not only for the station core, but also for any machines or storage. Okay, fast fast construction. Input copper. I'll put oil. Uh, okay. Oh, 
We'll find, okay, how do I how do I do it? All right, reread it. The fast construction window allows you to add fully configured and connected machines and storages in a few clicks. It's possible to build an entire production chain by specifying the final resource. Okay. Fast construction window is available not only for the station core, but also for any machine storage. I don't understand. Okay. Build chains from machines input. Nope, I didn't do anything. Trolling. Nope, that's not what I want it to be. No, I already did that. So it makes it sound like I can hit fast construction, but like I can't click on fast construction. All right, maybe I'll go to the next step, see what it says. Okay, and the construction menu, or the construction of a single machine is done in two stages. Select the resource type, and, uh, now the oil is already selected, so that there's no need to click on it. Well, I'll click on it because I've been clicking in here. Select the machine type, click on the power generator. Power generator, okay? Now drag the power generator icon anywhere it release. Okay, power generator has been added to the state. Power generator station needs more batteries. Press N to activate the modules window. Click on the module with P1 battery. I think it's that one that it wants me, but I, w I want the big one. Oh, maybe those are, okay, maybe that won't work. Place the module on the station. I need to put it on this thing or do it, can I just put it anywhere? Okay, for automatic transportation energy is required to put a special spacecraft. Press the U key, blueprint search. Okay. Search. Energy carrier P1, select the blueprint for the energy carrier P1. Energy carrier P1. Uh, build. Build. Uh, there. Energy carrier. Well, I don't want to be P1 because we're just going to make it energy carrier 1 for now. So this side, yeah, he's going to jump up here. He's going to start building this thing. Wait for the end of the construction. All right. At some point, we're going to have to go get copper. Unless, oh, we oh, maybe we get copper from the, the planet. That's what that was. Or no, it's, maybe it's output as oil. We'll eventually have to break the copper. Fancy ships. It's a cool building game. Uh, it, it, there's a lot. It's, it's a lot to kind of get started and to get get in with. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to. Uh, I plan on to go through the tutorial today, uh, and then once we kind of go through the tutorial, uh, we'll, we'll see how long that takes us. Uh, I, I don't know how long the tutorial is going to take us. I should probably make it go faster. Uh, faster speed would probably be helpful. All right, so it looks like we ran out of steel. 
uh, this robot down here finished building his things. And I think that ship should take off. Yeah. It should go get more iron and come back by itself. Flight ship has arrived. Yeah. So basically what it does is it will fly to the, the iron place. It connects to the bottom of it. It basically dumps iron into it. Once it gets filled up, then it comes back. So that's kind of fancy. Except for I don't know how the, this thing is going to hold twice as much energy so as the station can hold. So I don't understand how that's supposed to work. But okay. Transfer energy to the ship. Then we'll grab this guy and transfer energy to the ship. Uh, all of it. Dark. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to... Right click on this uh, spaceship. Select the auto logic energy carrier. Auto logic energy carrier. Okay, the colonists need copper to terraform the planet. Click on the specified button to go to the technology tree. Uh, the key for technology. Oh. So it wants me to go here, no, here like this. I'm going to demand copper. Oh, here it is. Technology. Okay. Tech tree. And then I can just stack that up into research. Press the home button. Go back to the home. Uh, quantum storage allows you to store a large amount of solid resources in a small space. Add a quantum storage technology to the queue. Okay. Press the home button. Order significantly increase the production of energy in the crude oil is necessary to research technology producing fuel and technology generate energy from it. Add the energy fuel to the technology. Electricity from fuel. We'll research that also. Press the escape button. Escape! Uh, it looks like we already went back to, to fill up, maybe? I don't know. I don't know where it went. It went someplace. Must have had to go someplace else to go build something. Mission organizes supply copper development on the planet. Press him to activate the global map. Okay. Target sector. So we'll go here. Claim the sector here. Okay. Click on the build station button. Build station. Figure out where it's going to go. It'll eventually come back. It's just zipping around everywhere. This thing doesn't know where it's going to go. All right, right click the station core. Oh, I guess I need a station core to be done before I click on it. So then this guy's gonna come in and bring us energy, which is nice of it. All right, so click on the copper, then click the extractor. Extractor. Left click and drag. Now I need to build a uh, storage field for pure, uh, pure copper. Freshly research quantum storage with a capacity of 100 units. Right click on the extractor. I click on the extractor, select storage T1. Storage T1. No. I think I need this storage over here, T1. Okay, final storage has been added to the station. Open blueprint screen, press the search button. Search button, it's like a blueprint for the transporter ship. Transporter ship.
transporter cells. That's not what I wanted. I guess, oh. Yeah, the transporter, that's the one. Uh, press the build button, pressing the build button. Iron. Okay, so you can select the materials you want to build it from. Transporter. Uh, we'll just leave it as transporter for now. I don't know if I need to mark it as a copper transporter. Probably should have put this in a better place instead of down here where everything's being squished. Unlock pack packages three. And I think eventually what I want to do is go back to that the energy place and, and build more energy storage. I want to build more oil there and I want to build more Hopefully it will it will lead us to doing that. Energy carrier one departed. If nothing else is a really pretty game to watch, like Wow. Right click this bit, auto logic transport. Uh, auto logic. Yeah, so it's just going to be a transporter. Okay. Order for transporter to know what resources to transport routes must be created. Press the F switch. Create root node. Select copper. Okay. So it will be a copper. So can I re. That's not what I wanted to do. I was hoping I could rename it, but I don't know if I can. It doesn't look like you can rename it, maybe. I, I'm sure there's probably a way. Right click uh, the transporter and select follow or hover transporter and press shift J to add the camera. Follow its hyper. -tell. Wait for the start to deliver the copper to the surface. All right, so it's it's beaming copper for now. Batch copper has been delivered. Test to increase the energy production for oil by processing it into fuel, right click the station core. Okay, right click the station core. Click the fuel, then the refinery. Fuel, refinery. Refinery added. I think it's really close. The produced fuel can be fed directly to the power generator. Okay, right click the refinery. With the power generator. All right, uh, control liquid production, organize the supply of coolant from lava planet. Do the lava planet for us to activate the global map. Well, I want to make sure we're building this thing first. And then that's the other thing, too. Can I hit this? No, that thing. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, this one. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted.
Can I do that? Is that, is that going to end badly for me? Am I going to regret that decision? Maybe. But I have more energy storage. Uh, eventually, oh, there he comes. He'll eventually make it over here. That will at least get us more energy storage here uh, so that when this guy comes in, uh, he'll be able to fill up better. Instead of say, taking a bunch of little bitty bites, he can take larger bites sometimes. I do like watching it build. Yeah, it's going to take forever for it to, to do that stuff, though. All right, so uh, target sector. We need to go here. Okay, first of all, uh, put the coolant and liquid storage tanks in the research queue. Research. Tank research. Okay, exit. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. While the technology being researched, build one or more construction cannons at the station. Right click the uh, extractor. Extractor. I'm going to build four of them. We're going to do it. Let's do it. That probably, probably, uh, it's going to end badly for me in the future because I probably need to build other things here. Uh, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Press you to open the blueprint screen, the search button. Uh, press the search button. Search for the blueprint for the transporter ship. Uh, it's, it's been, that, one, that one's crazy. Uh, press the build button there. We'll build this bad boy. Let's build it over here. Uh, this is coolant. Let's see how that works out for me. Ooh, look at the fancy building. Just that's some building right there. This is the place to build stuff. Oh, I, I, this, this, this game, this game's going to cause trouble for me. I can, I can feel it. Right click on the spaceship, all it's like logic transporter. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Logic, auto logic, uh, transporter. The neighboring ice planet has a huge supply of water needed to produce coolant. Press M key to go global map. Target sector, we will claim the sector. Nope, claim the sector again. Oh, Jesus. Click on production, click on the build station button. Okay, build station. Right click the station core. Well, I gotta wait for the ship to be built before I can actually do that. Because I can't right, oh, I can't right click. Click on the coolant, then on the refinery. Coolant, refinery. Left click and drag.
coolant binary. Coolant binary. Oh, I'll try this thing. Coolant, refinery, left click, drag. Look at that. Right click on the refinery, click pink P1. Okay, increase coolant capacity, hover over the tank, press P to copy. Okay, so we'll do increase coolant capacity, hover over the tank, and press C copy. Okay. Okay, escape close the build menu. Evidently, I made made too much already. I, it's probably it's probably fine. Wait for the construction to end. <laughs> it's got to go get more ore or more iron. So I'm I'm working the robots. Press F to switch to root mode. Select coolant. So I'm going to select from coolant there to there. Okay. Using the mouse wheel, you can zoom in that line with better visibility. That makes sense. Using the mouse wheel, you can zoom in. I already did that. Yeah. Cool. We're already doing it. I see that. Okay. Cool. You were there. Round already exists. Okay. Click on the route line to open the settings. Okay. Click on the route line. The creating routes make sure that their minimum back bytes is less or equal to the free space in the transporter and the and the recipient. Otherwise, the route will not react to the size of minimum batch affects frequent transportation. Transportation will not start until it becomes possible to transport to minimum batch. Okay. That's fine. 50, 50 sounds like a good place. All transporters, uh, space ships follow all routes available for them for efficient transport. Route priority affects the execution order. High priority routes will be executed first. That makes sense. Press the map, exit button, or escape their place. Escape it, skip it. All right, teleportation relay allows you to transfer resources both to the surface of the planet and back between the sectors. Within five jumps, a resource delivery system can build entirely on the basis of teleportation or combined with routes of transporters docking. Replace the way copper is delivered from routes to a space teleport. Press D to open technology tree. Search. Find and click the space teleport icon. Uh, they're not no space teleport. Press the key or exit. Okay. M to activate the global map. Oops, now I did it. M to activate global map. Click on the target sector. 
What an explosive threat. Did that. What are you doing? Oh, that's where I'm at. Okay, I need to go to the target center. Uh, now I gotta wait for you to research things. What kind of garbage is this? Uh, right click on the storage T1. Storage T1. Block output from pneumatic tubes. This doesn't seem like a good thing to do. Space teleport. Drag the space teleport anywhere and release it. Okay. Please pay attention to the panel on the upper left corner. There, there are unconnected teleporters there here up to five jumps from the currently blocked sector. Okay, that's guy right here. By clicking on the icon, you can go to any of them. Now you need to build a receiver teleporter. Press M to activate the global map. M to activate the global map. We'll go to here. Right click on the station core. And we are going to space teleporter. Okay. Transfer resources through the rail is more efficient in the terms of energy consumption. Now you can cancel the current route. Press F to switch to the left mode. Uh, I broke something. Oh, route name. Okay. So then I have to select copper. Where's copper? There's copper. And then we're going to do this. Uh, I'll line up in the settings window. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Delete button. Close the map. All right. When the planet is ready to level up, the leader of the planet requests the resources needed to terraform. The type of resources depends on the uh, problem the colonists are facing. It can be materials, construction of buildings, factories, dwellings, high tech machines, or other spare parts. A weapon or, or to curb the aggressive of biosphere. Weapons are uh, changing terrain, cleaning space, deep drilling, or other. Click the uh, uh, order button. A orders button? Where's the orders button? Where, I don't see. Mm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was blind. All right. So here we can see the planet is requested a supply of iron. Click the auto route button. The system will automatically create a suitable route if one of your stations is already producing the required resources. Also create a route yourself with load manual resources. Okay, auto route. Another planet needs coppering. Its technology has not yet been researched. Close the window and go to there. Okay, we go to here. We'll research copper ingot. Research queue and add wait for it to be unlocked. Oh, look, a little copper coming in. Add the copper in. Uh, where did it? We're waiting for it to be researched. It It is a lot of little things and trying to build stuff and trying to do stuff in a very different way. Uh, so it, it's not a bad thing. Uh, it is a way different way to do things and a lot more automation. And I'm pretty sure there's, you know, fighting and stuff like that eventually. Um, but it'll be a it'll be an interesting game. Hey, calling request pull at 200. Well, you're just going to have to wait. You you are just needy. Just want all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, you know, there, there's other there's other people here that are building things. Now, granted, you're building all of our energy, so, like, I'll, I'll let, you, let you have a little bit of it. But. We're almost done with a, a copper ingot. And I'm sure we're going to go back and uh, start building copper ingots. Okay, back to sector mode. 
They want ingots. Oh, that is, that's, okay, you're producing that, so I need to go here. Okay, right-click on the station core, press the output button. Indicate construction entire production chain at once, or pure mechanical component. Output, output, copper ingot. Okay, arrange production sequences by dragging icons. Okay, so that's that's fancy. As storage to the end of the chain, right click on the stamper storage icon. Okay. Add storage to the end of the chain. Right click on the stamper and the storage icon. There, there's not another place for me to step on, right? Wait for it to turn. Click the orders button, orders, production capacity, auto route. So obviously then, in the active construction module, you can select a rectangular area and copy and delete it. The like the rectangular area. Copy. We need to put vertical. Let's see if that works. Does that work? Make it easier to build large and complex structures. We'll make it easier to build, yeah. I do like the fact that I can just be like, hey, just go uh like magically bring me stuff. Like that's great, thank you for playing. That fancy works just fine. If you plan to use build segment, save it as a module. In the future, you can add it to existing stations to simply other blueprints. Oh, I, I was like, what is this shooting at? So this transporter then basically just anything that needs to be transported that's that's a block or a on a crate or whatever, uh, it's going to fly, get whatever it needs, take it where it needs to be, and unload. Um, and then, so then if it needs to go get iron, it's going to go get iron. It's going to need to get, okay, that makes sense. Main work cycle, capture new sectors, research resources, technology needs to colonies, build factories and supply chains, and repeat. Press O to open the list of colonies. O to open the list of colonies. Require resources, they need coolant. Constant demand. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. This window provides information about the colonies or population required resources. Use it for expansion production planning. Close the window. No! Uh, AI memory is the main resource for researching new technologies. You can get new memory every uh, time you increase the level of a colony. The higher the level, the greater the reward uh, from the additional memory. Any technology can be temporarily erased to free up memory. Okay. 
important. You can switch to any sector at any time via the uh, M map M if the sector's already been visited. To do this, you do not need to send a ship to the sector every time. You have to switch to the previous sector. Okay. Press Y to view production recipes. Click the resource icons, navigate between recipes. Okay. Okay. Close the current window, press F1 to see the list of hotkeys. So there's all of our hotkeys. Props prepare to choose direction and develop it yourself, hence to be visible in there. Okay. Close the current window and press F2 to open the help our database. Go on the game. Tutorial complete. Thanks for playing and have fun. So, yeah, it's there's already a lot to this game. Um, so we've about, about an hour to go through the tutorial um, and kind of get us started on the game. Um, we will, uh, we will, wow. Uh, what, what's here? Do we know what's here? Unlock gears. Uh, I, I don't know what this is. Um, yeah, so it's telling it's tell me to claim this. So we claimed it. So we're going to make carbon ore here. So, yeah, so lots of fun. Um, Lots of lots of good stuff to do, and then uh, we'll, we'll definitely be back with this game. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. Uh, like I said, this is the tutorial so far. I will go ahead. And we'll build a station. We'll see how that works out for me, uh, and then we'll start working on carbon on the next the next episode. With that, you guys be safe. Uh, if y'all want to see more of this game, please uh, throw a like on it. Uh, you know, subscribe, leave me a comment, uh, and we will kind of go from there. You guys be safe. We'll talk to y'all next time.